Hi, everyone. Yes, we just pulled over because we were on our way from interviewing Caruso supporters in Wilmington. Now we're going to Karen Bass's campaign headquarters uh, in Mid-City area, and so we're going to interview her live in the next hour. But first, we sat down with candidate Rick Caruso last night for a one-on-one -on -one with his final appeal to voters. Looking back, any reflections you want to share? It's been the best just the best. It's been the best because my family has been by my side, my wife and my four kids. We've learned to see the city through the eyes of others and the beauty of it. What's your final appeal to voters? My final appeal is really simple. I mean, this is a time where the city's in trouble and I'm running because I believe I can help the city and I love the city. And I want to fight for those that frankly can't fight for themselves. This is really about do you want change? If you're happy about the community today, if you feel safe, if you like the homeless situation, I'm not your candidate. What are the first three items you're going to take care of? It's going to be homelessness, number one, state of emergency, and pull together a team, which I've already identified. I'm going to meet with the chief of police, and we're going to put together a plan on preventing crime in this city and making the city safer very quickly. I'm going to make sure there's zero tolerance with corruption. I've had a corruption plan from day one. Uh, Karen is not. She still doesn't have one. And I'm going to make sure that there's a culture change in City Hall that we're going to wake up every day to serve the public. The latest numbers show you guys neck and neck. Right. I mean, what's it going to take to... Every know? vote. I mean, literally every vote counts. I mean, that's the great thing about this election. There's two very different candidates with two very different track records with two very different perspectives on how to get things fixed. Speak directly to the voters sure. who are getting out, ready to go to the polls. What do you say? I'd be honored to. Listen, here's what I would say. I love this city dearly. I, I know all of you do as well. We need to change. Uh, and I know I can lead that change. And I would do it with sincerity, humility, and I would work very hard for you. We need to get the homeless off the streets in a compassionate, dignified way and give them the services they need. And it's going to take a builder who knows how to build to get enough shelter, homes, and apartments for people. I've stepped into positions at critical moments. I stepped into the chair of USC at a critical moment. I stepped into LAPD at a critical moment, overseeing the operation. This is a critical moment in LA. So at least I understand business. I understand management. I understand governance. I understand building a team. Say you win. What do you mean say I win? Okay. When you win. <laughs> Should that be the outcome of this election? What will Los Angeles look like in four years from now? Oh, I love that question. It's going to be much safer. Um, we're going to have the homeless in homes that they have a sense of pride. They're going to have good health care, mental health care. We're going to get people back living a full life. We're going to have a city that's more affordable. We're going to have small businesses less regulated. We're going to have the streets clean, the sidewalks clean. And we're just going to be a city that brings back entrepreneurship, innovation, more businesses coming in, creating jobs, building the pie so everybody gets their fair share of the American dream. And as I said, all morning long, we're going to explore both sides. I want to bring in Najee Ali right now. He's a community activist. Um, thank you so much for joining us. Clearly, you are supporting Karen Bass for mayor. We just yes. heard from Rick Caruso and asked him, what would Los Angeles look like in four years should he be elected? What do you think it'll look like in four years should Karen Bass be elected to Los Angeles mayor? Well, I think it's critical that Karen Bass be elected. We want to have a city that can help, help, help end homelessness. Public safety needs to be increased. Karen Bass is the right messenger, the right mayor to make sure that L.A. is safe and can help solve the problem with homelessness the citywide. Why do you think she's a better candidate compared to Caruso? Because Karen Bass has spent her whole life fighting for social justice. She's a warrior. She has spent decades to try and improve the quality of life in our community, not just for black people, but for Latinos, for Asians, for everyone in the city. She's the right person at this right time to bring racial solidarity in our city. I appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Good to see you. Right, thank you. Um, and as I said, we're going to hear from more Karen Bass supporters. That'll be in the 1030 hour. Next hour, we're going to go one on one with a mayoral candidate to hear her final appeal to voters. I'm Christina Pascucci reporting live. I'll send it back to you. Right, Christina, thank you. This is really helpful. I appreciate you going all over town to bring us all of the different perspectives ahead of the big day tomorrow.